We're going to turn now to the escalating showdown over the post office and mail-in voting. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has cut short the August recess, called the House back into emergency session to confront the Postmaster General over cutbacks in service, which could disrupt the delivery of mail-in ballots and effectively deny some people the right to vote. Terry Moran is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. Well, across the country, state election officials, Republicans and Democrats, are sounding the alarm about what's happening at the Postal Service and how the changes there could impact the nearly 80 million Americans who are expected to ca cast their ballots by mail. Speaker Pelosi taking that dramatic action, declaring lives, livelihoods, and the life of our American democracy are under threat. This morning, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is taking the dramatic step of calling every member of the House back to Washington for a rare Saturday session this weekend to address the crisis in the U.S. Postal Service and growing questions about the November election. And Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, a Trump ally and Republican mega donor, now finds himself in the hot seat accused by Democrats of trying to silence millions of voters. Democrats are now calling for DeJoy to testify in an urgent hearing. We've got to do everything we can to get rid of this new uh, postmaster general who was clearly a campaign contributor for Trump trying to undermine uh, the Postal Service. DeJoy, who took office in June, has cut overtime and changed work rules, removing dozens of mail sorting machines, leading to reported delays and curtailed service. The agency calling these changes cost-cutting measures. Now it takes maybe like a couple of weeks to get something that used to take a day or two. Experts are now warning that the degrading standards at the Postal Service are already slowing down deliveries of mail, medical prescriptions, and paychecks. Jim Gall says a reimbursement claim for his wife's medication usually takes six days, but recently took two weeks. We have to pay for her prescriptions and then file for reimbursement. Eleven, twelve thousand dollars is a lot of money to have outstanding. On a credit card. And the changes could be catastrophic for the November election. The Postal Service is already warning 46 states that ballots might not be delivered in time to be counted. All this as the president continues to tout baseless claims that mail-in voting leads to voter fraud. Universal mail-in voting is going to be catastrophic. It's going to make our country a laughing stock all over the world. Well, once again, there is no evidence that expanding vote by mail will lead to widespread voter fraud. ABC News has learned overnight that attorneys general, Democrat attorneys general from at least six states are considering legal action against the Trump administration to protect the operations of the United States Postal Service. George? Showdown on so many fronts with so much at stake. Okay, Terry, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.